we are going to be doing something completely unique and different. We are going to be looking at the Playmobil Knight Rider kit. Hello, folks. Denobi2 here, and thank you for joining me once again on a visual tour. Yes, we're going to do something completely radically different. I want to play with the Playmobil Knight Rider uh, kit. Uh, this is not my first Playmobil vehicle set. Uh, first one was the DeLorean. Saw this overseas, and I'm like, you know what? I think I can have a lot of fun. Not a lot of uh, work is involved when you're assembling these. This is the uh, uh, with only 53 pieces. Oh, that's my dog Loki. He's such a trickster. I wanted to help out with the uh, unboxing here on this uh, video. I, you know, I saw this. I'm like, you know, I really enjoyed the. DeLorean, their first set that I had bought. I'm like, you know, maybe I can have fun with this as well, too. And maybe there might be potentials for um, uh, kind of tweaking it, to uh, say the least there. Uh, we have, uh, it comes with three figures, Michael Knight, Bonnie Barstow, and Devin Miles. There you go. Uh, Knight Rider. Uh, I never saw this, by the way. I never saw this show when it originally aired. I ended up seeing this on syndication. And uh, I, I, it... I always enjoyed it. I always enjoyed this as much as Quantum Leap in, in the mid-90s when I ended up seeing this. So, I, I never got into going deep into collecting kit. I always found it really fascinating. For me, when it comes to Hollywood vehicles, it's always going to be the DeLorean. Uh, but kit it will always have a semi-soft spot uh, favorite for me. But um, right off the bat, let's take a look at this here. The... Uh, the it, well, it's not painted, first of all. It has it's more of a plastic mold on there, too. And if you saw the back, the back wheel compartment there, um, the cargo area color, the beige bleeds through, it's, it's a very bland color. Uh, the main thing I really had wanted, uh, what I was attracted to on, on this particular set, was is that, uh, is that they used the voice, uh, the actual actor's voice, uh, Mr. Feeney. I think the actor's name is William Daniels uh, from Boy Boy Meets World, and uh, it's and the fact that the actual front lights would uh, would pulsate. Um, I did see a quick review on this, and uh, it 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 seemed it seemed like it it could have had more potential to it. Um, it's not it's not cheap either. I think I paid eighty nine dollars for this set. I think it's what it uh, retailed for. That's what I paid for it. Uh, comes, but you you are getting multiple uh, Playmobil figures. You are getting a lot of uh, accessories, um, and I think the most expensive component with this is probably uh, the fact that they're using the actual uh, voice of Kit uh, and the uh, the sensor node on the actual vehicle that makes him talk when you touch the front of the hood. It does does speak. Now I'm not going to spend too much time with the accessories for me the uh, computer panel and, and added the stickers it, it, it's okay for me it was actually the vehicles and the, the actual vehicle and what I can potentially do to make it just slight better so let's look at the wheels here there's, no, there's nothing wrong with the wheels it's, it says Playmobil on there and at this point I hadn't decided whether or not any improvements could be done to the actual wheels now I'm not a big fan of this generic uh, plastic color type mold that most toy companies use uh, it has that uh, that that toyetic quality so I, I'm just looking at the hubcap and the, uh, the, the 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 wheels and and the rims and so forth I'm like you know I can probably tweak a little bit of this uh, most definitely the actual hubcaps looking at the vehicle again um, I, I really want to give this a paint job just looking at it right here and so forth especially with the the, the the actual back wheel compartment where you can see that the uh, interior cabinets beige color bleeds right through so did a little bit uh, of experimentation but I, I do want to hear the voice I do want to hear make sure it does work and it, it's it sounds fantastic I mean, that is definitely definitely Mr. Senior yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, well, don't you think you should pre-program me in the event you don't return? Right away, my It's own. it's it's crazy. Once I I learned that it was Mr. Feeney, you cannot unsee him. You it's his voice. <laughs> Michael, what shall I do while you're gone? 
I gotta say, the, the touch sensor technology is pretty cool. The fact that you can just touch this, the, the hood and it does activate the actual uh, phrases. And it comes with four phrases. Very, very cool. I love that pulsating sound. Now, let's get back to the vehicle here. Now, this right here, I did, I did do a little bit of drilling here, right? You can see where I wanted to kind of break open the the part there. You go know, right there, on there, and it, because it's it's they were latched on extremely hard, and I wanted to be careful. I didn't mind that I I drilled at the bottom of the actual vehicle. Uh, if anything, I wanted to protect that sensor. It's uh, right there. That actually just touches. It just touches the actual plastic shell. Um, I thought up at this point. I'm like, oh, the raised headlights. I. I gonna leave the, ra the raised headlights alone um, but everything else once you drill through the actual vehicle everything else just comes apart and so it gives you a little bit more freedom as to what you want to paint I, I had no intentions of ever painting the interior to me the interior didn't really bother me it was more the exterior uh, and uh, trying to figure out what would be the path of least resistance there, right? Uh, no, but I, this is the, I used uh, the bare gloss black paint. I did want a, sh a super shiny, because after all, this is a Pontiac Firebird uh, with the Trans Am package on there. Uh, look at the hubcaps, the wheels. I'm having everything prepped. This is, so, I'm like, I, I, I can do this. I, I feel very, very, very confident. So, prepped everything up. Come back the following day, and I like what I see. I think, you know, just letting everything dry overnight, I think everything came out very, very well. I, I like, uh, and I'm actually extra proud of myself on the uh, painter's tape that I used to make sure that uh, the spray paint didn't uh, bleed into the actual uh, uh, Acrylics of the windows on there, but it came out came out really nice. Like, oh, cool! This came out very very nice. A little bit of prepping on there. It's it's incredible what a little bit of paint and the and the main reason too I wanted to uh, use the the actual spray. It was just it's just quicker. Give it that uh, auto detailing look. Now I did mess up on here though. I covered the front of the windshield. And I did not, I just, I forgot to use painter's tape on the other side. And I thought, man, I just ruined it. But I do have acetone dip to Roger Rabbit and it just cleaned off very, very easy. Just a little bit of acetone came right off. The other concern of mine was the actual sensor. Uh, I do want to have Kit talking. And I didn't think spray paint in the vehicle would inhibit the actual sensor, meaning that once you paint it, will I still be able to access the the, the actual voice, the voices of, of Kit. Now, I used uh, Gorilla Glue for that uh, shine on there. It dries on, stay, it, ha it has that wet look to uh, the actual wheel. Uh, I spray painted the hubcap, the wheel, I, I dabbed some of that Gorilla Glue overnight and it dried beautifully, it, it's perfect. I spray painted the under, underneath the, the cabin area there so that beige bleeding um, won't happen. Uh, I didn't, I'm not gonna do anything inside, again it's, I did paint the chairs though. I did want to have uh, the chairs to at least have that look of leather. Now, this is the part that I had not had planned originally, and uh, the fact that with a little bit of mic, with a little bit of ingenuity and some micro lights, I can probably get the front of the car to to light up and the back of the car with very minimal effort. And this is it, fully assembled on here, and the front bumper I didn't push it in all the way. So if you see the seam. The front it's because I, I up until this point um, I want to go back maybe rearrange the fairy lights that I use maybe even use different lights further down the road um, but it's it's all it's it's a snap kit once you drill through and you 
you break it through and it's a snap kit. Uh, the paint is not 100% fully completely dry. I suspect once the paint fully dries, uh, the actual touch sensor should work just fine. Um, every now and then it, it, it hits it and it won't hit it, but it works. Overall, it, it works. The fairy lights on there, uh, kit's sensor. I'm like, wow, it came out really, really nice. And again, this paint, once it's completely fully dry, uh, the, the the texture, the, the sheen will change. I didn't adjust the, the fairy light at the back of the tail. I just wanted to show you what it would look like and that it does work if you do have it. You can get those lights in the front, run that cord underneath the cabin and to the back. And because at this point, I, I drill through the actual snap points on there. I can put the bumper out, I can push it out and put it back in, adjust those lights accordingly. accordingly. So overall, I had fun. This is this is the stuff that I, I find really fascinating that if, if I'm into a specific Hollywood vehicle or anything like that, uh, it just like it just brings that kid out in me. I'm like, you know, I want to sit down and let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can paint this. Let's see what I can kind of do. It's more, it's more like a like a Adam Savage one day build. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but if it means if I could just spend one day on this and to come out with a different product and maybe even improve it and uh, and just maybe add a little bit more creativity to it I, I eat it up I, I love it so this is it I'm still gonna do more hot toy reviews and so forth I've just been really busy I just thought this would have been something unique and different than maybe anybody out there who else is into Playmobil would enjoy the video thanks for watching like and subscribe